Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we are continuing our playthrough as the Federation. We've just fought a war with um, the Metron Consortium and we won, um, so that's nice. We are going to, yeah, probably have a peaceful game, and a peaceful playthrough this episode, unless someone attacks us. And then if they attack us, we will definitely, definitely um, respond. So that's not a problem. Um, this one, let's send you up here to Cytheria. You're in the Unicomplex. You are, yeah, here. So what we should also do in Seoul, did we set a flagship to build? I think we did two episodes ago, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we did, but I think it's going to, it's going to take a while. So this might be the episode where we get a new flagship. Uh, and it will be a sovereign class vessel, which actually we don't have many of those because, yeah, there's no need for many of those. So lots of intrepids being built um, at Starbase 1. Uh, new fleet, let's get rid of that. Not as though we need it. Um... You're getting all those. We could reinforce some of our... Yeah, so for example, you can have a Vesta. In fact, um, this is 17th Fleet, and we have a free Vesta lying around. Uh, this one. So let's just go like that. Yeah. And you're here, and yet yeah, you're exactly where I want you to be. Thank you. So, and actually we could go through a lot of our fleets and do that. So let's, can't add a Vesta, but we could try and add... Um, doo -ba -doo, doo -ba -doo. What can we try to add? Sovereign class? No. So Prometheus is the next one we can add. Okay, well there's one Prometheus there. Um, is it a... What can we add? So what's, what's just 20? A Vulcan Intrepid class is the closest. Let's do that. And a Vesta. There's one for eight, I think, towards the top. Challenger class, California. Saber, no. So California class. Here, we can add in another Vesta, I think. Nope. Just kidding. Wait, what am I doing? At yeah, 25. So a Federation class. Um, 30, we can add in the Akira. 19th Fleet, you're fine. As in, you're full. You can go like that. And then we can add in an Akira. Oh no, sorry. Only 20. Um, so it has to be an Intrepid. 9th Fleet. Let's go for a Vesta, and let's go for... So Prometheus is too much, Akira is too much, the Federation class. Uh, same type thing here, we want a Vesta, and then 31. So Akira is the closest, and then Vesta and 19, uh, Intrepid. This one, a Vesta. And yeah, steam runner. No. Oh yeah, steam runner. That works. Okay. So then fourth fleet. Let's go for another Vesta. And then it will have to be an Intrepid. Do -ba do Intrepid. And this one. Let's go for another Vesta. And then Kira. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Second fleet. Same type thing. Um, how much do we have? Yep. So, Akira. Let's add in a Vesta. And... Akira? Yep. And third fleet? Yeah, I think it's going to be a Vesta. And... Ooh! Prime nope, yeah, Akira. Perfect. And we can build 11 of those ships. Preserve technology. So yeah, those are building... 
Trevin, Karaman, Malik, yep, you're where you're supposed to be. Open borders from the Sele Clutches. That's good. Yeah, they, in, I think two episodes ago, they formed a, a federation, or coalition, sorry, they formed a coalition down there. Just a bit like, oh, okay. Now, uh, what's this? What would this perk be? Federal unity, gain one unity for each envoy, end game crisis faction damage, and monthly unity. Not that it really does much of anything for me, but oh well. I like to Rogan, Karma. Oh wait, I have two in the Karma system? Let's just take one of you and go to Dosaurus, just for fun. And in fact, you are upgrading, and I'll turn one of those into a... Yeah, to get the trade from Dosaurus. Research complete. So what this research, what can we do for this research? We can go for armor hit points. That sounds good. We like those armor hit points. Um, this war. How is this war doing? Uh, it's an offensive war, and they have... Oh, not much. Draconian... Uh, actually, wait, how is that possible? The Defender War Exhaustion is at 93, but this is an offensive war, and they're at 28. But... It's the Rakari... Uh, sorry, the uh, Hakonians who control that. Yep, and the Herc still have not awakened, so we can't declare war on them. And you have association status with these ones down here. And let's try, or you're independent. Hostile. Maybe we should improve relations, actually. Uh, Latinum, 10 months. Let's go like that. Uh, production targets and capacity overload, none of which are needed. Or neither of which, I should say, are needed. So let's continue. And hopefully... We... I really hope in our next playthrough we don't have much to do with the Borg. Because I don't want to keep preserving technology like this. We could integrate them. It'd take 22 months. Uh, maybe not right now. So you're here in Dosaurus, as you should be. Um, we can build seven more ships. That's very good. Now just nine more needed. So in the soul system, how are we going? Well, you're about to get a lot more intrepid class vessels. Lots of intrepids. I mean, in fact, it's going to take a couple of years to build all of that. So preserve technology and continue to preserve technology. The Tholian assembly. Offer protectorate status? Yeah, no. Because they're in a, our coalition, they wouldn't do that. New research, uh, something. You're in Shepa. Very good. And we can build two more ships. They're in the Karma station. Bella. Uh, Beta Veladonna, Karama as well, Beta Veladonna, Karama, Wilbur Station. Oh, lots. Oh, this is where that's taking up most of the Beta Veladonna system. Or the station that's being, uh, that's building all of that.
So it would be nice now that we have taken over the completely destroyed the Borg, if we could actually take over if we sorry, if we could actually build their transwarp conduits. And that would be beautiful. Because they didn't build them in nice places. <laughs> There's still a lot of things that I'm a lot of places that I would uh I would have built them. For example, some in the Alpha Quadrant, which I'm glad they never made it down here. So six more ships can be built in total. So, thank you. Preserve technology. Preserve all technologies. Oh, and you no longer need to be down there. Let's bring you back up to the soul system. Because why not? These ones, I'm just making sure we can't bring them into the Federation somehow. Looks like the answer is no on that front. Could indoctrinate them. Um, don't think there's much need, though. So, uh, Kyle Riker's leveled up. That's great. Let's go for. Uh, building cost, again, doesn't really matter. It's not as though we need any of that. We're running out of Latinum in 12 months. And Deuterium in 89 months. Deuterium minus 188. That's certainly something. So, what does our, should our strategy be? But what what is there? What mega structure is that? An Argus array. Oh, we don't actually need one because we have one somewhere. Um Preserve Technologies. You're in Torrents, which is where you're supposed to be. So again, that looks good. You're moving with second. You're merging with second fleet, which is that one. Oh, I see. Okay. And you're moving up there. It will take you a while to get there. You're there. And now only one more ship needs to be built, which is great. We're almost completely. Well, we've almost ordered everything to be completely back at full strength. Chapa, Briori. Yep, that's fine. We have a fleet here at Iridia. We don't need one. Although, we don't have any at Sanar. So let's take you and go there. Karama, Trill. Oh, let's review the Klingon Empire, and let's go for high-intensity negotiations again. So, that should mean they're at 30% now. So it's still going to take a couple of years to bring them in. But that's alright. And then I think... It doesn't really matter who's next. Uh, maybe the... The Sheliak, just because they're right there, then the... Hmm. Maybe the Tholians? I think I can take the Cardassian Union by myself. I don't need any... any help there. Ooh, and 10% mission progress. Yes, please. Uh, 
And that's still going to take a while, though. Yep, preserve technologies, preserve all the technologies. And the Herc. Still can't declare war against the Herc, can I? No, they haven't awoken yet. Close borders from the Trabe Alliance. Hmm. You're suspicious of us, and you don't like me. Um, why don't I improve relations? And with the Talaxians as well. And with the Hakonians. Um, this one. Are you worthy? You're hostile, you are friendly. Yes, I wish we had were able to get them into a uh wait what has coalition association status with the dominion and the terai how is that possible if they are no longer in a coalition and you're part of another coalition so you shouldn't have association status with anyone obviously something's gone wrong there um Yes, everyone. So just one ship left. New election. Scientist increase in level. Um, colony established. New colony. Fledgling world. Oh yes, this we're gonna have issues here. We are definitely going to have issues because purging. Population. Why? Why are you purging? You're not allowed to purge. Uh, leaders, species. Full citizenship. Everyone. Oh, undesirable. Set rights. No. Why? Why are you undesirables? But, and actually, why do the Borg only have residents? You're only allowed to have, what? Whoa, okay. Let's go to policies. Is it something? Yeah, universe balance, share research and equality, minimal? One anti-Borg edict? Yeah, that doesn't make any difference now um land appropriation is uh planets conquered from non-citizens will have five pops displaced and replaced with citizens from our other planets okay not generally hit and run home territory fire rate rapid deployment no retreat we could switch to rapid deployment. It doesn't really matter. So let's do that. Um, we can go for liberation wars. Expansionist. Isolationist. Cooperative. Oh, actually, we probably should be cooperative. So yeah, we're now cooperative. That should help us with some of our relations. I didn't even think to look at that. Um, but still, I don't understand why we're getting rid of the Prelore. But I guess it doesn't really matter. We have tons of... Um, tons of pops anyway. And I wonder if we have something because of the... Uh, or for some reason we are... For example, in Star Trek Picard, if you haven't seen it, this is going to be a bit of a spoiler, but the they're against um, artificial intelligence. The Dominion want a migration treaty? Sure. We'll give you a migration treaty. In fact, do you want more? 
join coalition, you won't with the Vidians or the Neverite Alliance, and a lot of people say no. But maybe afterwards. Colony Open borders with the Trabe. Colony established, and again, I think it's Praelor, yep. Well, it doesn't really matter if that doesn't work out, to be honest. Platinum's running out in 12 months. How about going like that? Yep. Oh, there's a Klingon fleet up here. And that's a particle fountain. A new ruler was elected. That's great. Congratulations. Something like that. Yep, you're su exactly where you're supposed to be. Maudlin, that's a great place for you to be. Yeah, so. Come on. So, Metron Consortium. Patronizing. Yes, it would have been nice if we completely wiped them out, but we didn't, so there's that. At least we wiped out a lot of their fleet power. And I'm sure the Klingons and the houses will, uh, their fleets will still stay around here. Because Kronos will become a sector. Oh yes, so let's go for trade depots there, because this is next to Dosarius. Oh, uh, Dosarius. No, I. Dosarius. Um, yeah, so that will get that trade, and once we eventually get to we'll take the other stuff as well. Yeah, don't need that, thank you. Preserve technology. Um, let's also go... Ooh! We have the USS Enterprise. Let's go for hydroponics and resource silo. Uh, dilithium manufactory. Great, so we now have the, uh, the Enterprise E. That's great. Enterprise E. You're considered a heavy cruiser. That's great. Um, so, heavy cruiser. Can we add things to your... Let's go for Vestas. Um, doo -ba -doo. Nikira. You also want to be built at Starbase 21. Construction complete. Unicomplex 2. Um, let's go for... Don't know. What? Arbazan is here. Oh wait, so the question comes, what was down... Uh, Ardana. Was that owned by... I don't know. I mean, population. Ardanan. So they're here they were there as well. Why are they why were there lots of people there? But then also Ardanjan Oh Ardan um, what? Oh I'm just getting confused. Okay. Um so let's go to Utopia Panisha and see if they can build anything else for us. Um actually let's go for available Starship Designs. Let's go for the... Uh, oh yeah, two years and 330 days. Let's go for the Aventine, and then we'll go for the Titan afterwards. 
Yep, thank you. Oh, I never did put anything to build here, did I? No, yes, I was still wondering what I should do. So, what should I do for Unicomplex? Uh, actually, you know, three shipyards, why not? Give me something else to build from. So, Enterprise E, let's also reinforce yet yeah, you, because we can. Just one more. One more ship. I guess it's an Ak the Akira class. Those are all Vesta. Um, time crystals, yeah, that's the one. So it is simply just a matter of... Yeah, that ship. The Akira. So... Colony established. New colony. Talusian. Yeah, you're fine. You have stuff. Ooh, Iconian research site. That's definitely helping with our empire sprawl. So thank you for that. Thank you. And thank you for all of that. Do I have any military? So I have two military. F I have two fleets down there. I have a fleet here in case the Metron give me any trouble. Uh, new research. Uh, go there. Because why not? I have that one there in case, and one there. You're moving there. You're there. You're here. Oh, in fact, let's take you fully to Benea. Like so. You. Research complete. So, new research. Doesn't really matter what I choose because, again, none of this is actually doing anything. Several demon class planets over here, but again, nothing I can actually do about those. I can't terraform them, I can't do anything along those lines. Demon class as well. Tholian assembly. Yeah, again, not nothing I can really do. This is the problem. Hopefully, though, hopefully, the integration of the Klingons will go as planned, and then as will the Tholians and the Neberite Alliance and all of that. And then we can go into maybe one with the Dominion, that would be nice. Or, well, what would be nice is if they buddy up to somebody, maybe like these ones in the Dam and the uh, Delta Quadrant over here, the Brunali, for example, then we can take all of this in. That's also part of the Galactic Partnership. And then, yeah, go from there. That would be very nice. Sabine? Yep, you're in Trill, as you should be. Are you not... Oh, but... You're not repairing. Let's go to Corallus. Because 27, that's not enough. Not 27% armor and 38% hull points. We want a fully fully repaired ships. Preserve all the technologies. So Alioth Prime. Repair. 
and the other one was this one and repair and preserve all of this platinum oh look all done just like that I don't have to worry about any of this. I won't integrate them yet, just because I don't want to go below 150 for the Klingons. I mean, I don't want to dip below 150 influence. That's something that I definitely want. Research complete. So Bejor. So actually the Argolis cluster is the capital city, or is the capital planet of Yeah. Of the Cardassian Union. That's ironic. Considering it should be that it was Federation territory um, during the Dominion War. As well uh, up to Bajor as well. Okay, you're now repairing as you should be. You're good enough. I guess you're good enough as well. 71, yeah, let's have you go somewhere and deal with that. No, not all the way back there. Down here, maybe. And then I'll have you move back up there eventually. Way too much reclamation. I'm really hoping this is just a bug in this playthrough and that the next time we go through, we won't have this problem. How are you doing here? In fact, we could build another city and give some more upgrades. Like so. Yeah, in fact, we'll probably need another city. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put a cut in here. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If so, please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time for another episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now.